Hi folks, Hugo Rivera here with HugoRivera.net and today I'm going to cover a question that I've been getting a lot over email lately and the question is regarding fish oils and prostate cancer. Is there really a correlation? Will fish oils give you prostate cancer is the question. Okay, and this basically, I'm getting a whole bunch of emails regarding this because some stuff came out in the news basically saying that there's a study that says that if you take fish oils, you're going to go ahead and get prostate cancer. Okay, the key thing to understand here is that you need to understand the nature of the study. And I'm not saying that the study is invalid, but you need to understand what the study is all about. And this is what is called an epidemiological study. Basically, this is a correlational study, and what this means is that this is a study that looks at statistical evidence. It looks at things that people eat, and then it tries to go ahead and correlate what kind of effects that kind of uh, uh, consumption has. Okay, So basically, this is a study that just gathers a whole bunch of data and then tries to make correlations, tries to associate things to that data. Okay, so it's not the kind of study that, for example, you go ahead and you put in, you put like some cell cultures and you pump them up with fish oils and you see what happens. That's not exactly what this is all about. This is more a statistical analysis of things uh, that go on. Okay, and basically that's what needs to be understood because I think a lot of people are getting the idea that the study was more in terms of uh, a biological sort of study and that's not really what uh, the case is here okay uh, so I think that's important to know and to understand the difference okay once again I'm not saying that this study has no relevance that's not what I'm saying at all it just simply stating the fact that it's not what a lot of people think it is okay and with that said I will say the following there's a huge amount of evidence indicating the, the safety and efficacy of fish oils, the incredible effects that it has on various things such as like, you know, hormonal production, on insulin sensitivity, on joint health, brain function, uh, obviously muscle growth and fat loss, okay? And a whole bunch of other uh, effects on the health as well. And because of this huge amount of evidence, I think uh, we need to consider the fact that, you know, fish oils are not harmful to your health at all, okay? And the key thing to understand too is that every single food that you consume and food supplement as well may have a study out there that will correlate it to some sort of disease, like cancer for example. And therefore the key thing is to go ahead and take a look at it and say, okay, you know, do you have enough evidence stating the fact that it is a safe thing to take? Do you have enough evidence stating the benefits that it has? And then you kind of like make a, a, an analysis of whether it is good for you or not. Now, there are even studies that indicate, you know, that if you breathe too much of the wrong air, you're going to get cancer too. Well, you know, you're not going to stop breathing, right? <laughs> so therefore, to me, it's the same thing with fish oils. I mean, fish oils contain essential fatty acids and because these fish oils contain these fats that are essential for your health and your life, I, in my opinion, I'll go ahead and continue to go ahead and take the fish oils and I would advise others to go ahead and continue to do the same, okay? Anyways, that's my take on the fish oil issue. Um, if you like this video, please click on the like button below and in addition to that, share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus and any other social media you may have. And finally, don't forget to visit my website at www.hugorevera.net where you get tons of free information on training, nutrition, and supplementation. And in addition, you can go ahead and sign up to my free newsletter where you get a free ebook on how to lose fat and gain muscle simply for signing up. And you go ahead and get a ton of free tips on a weekly basis. All right? Anyways, hope to see you soon. Until then, take care and train hard.